Blue Mesa Reservoir, Colorado's largest body of water and a vital supplier for the drought-stricken Colorado River Basin, is facing critically low levels this summer. As of August 28, the reservoir is just 52% full, sitting at 7,475 feet above sea level, 44 feet below capacity. Projections indicate levels could decline further to around 45% by the end of the dry season, especially if emergency water releases are ordered. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation has already begun weighing another round of emergency releases from Blue Mesa in 2026 to help prop up Lake Powell, which is also under severe stress. If conditions remain unchanged, Lake Powell is forecasted to dip below the crucial elevation of 3,525 feet next spring a threshold tied directly to hydropower generation and regional water supplies. Such a decline would mark only the second time Powell has fallen that low since it first filled in 1980, the last being in 2021, when 180,000 acre-feet were released from Blue Mesa, Flaming Gorge, and Navajo Reservoirs to stabilize the system. Meanwhile, drought conditions across Gunnison County, where Blue Mesa is located, are worsening rapidly. According to drought.gov, roughly 50% of the county is now in extreme drought, up dramatically from just 5% a month ago. Most of the remainder is classified as severe. Over the past 30 days, precipitation has been between 25% and 50% of normal, with little sign of immediate relief. Officials warn that these compounding pressures highlight the fragile state of the Colorado River Basin where reservoirs are being stretched thin to meet the competing demands of agriculture, cities, and power production. If emergency releases go forward, Blue Mesa could again sacrifice critical storage, further underscoring the difficult trade-offs facing water managers in the West.